Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 3rd of 2020, well, it is titled A Halo for Andromeda. So what do we see here? Well, down at the center of that big blue cloud is the Andromeda galaxy. And that is the nearest large spiral galaxy to our own, about two and a half million light years away, and is slowly getting closer to us. And it will happen in another four or five billion years or so that the Andromeda galaxy and the Milky Way will actually collide together and eventually merge into a much larger galaxy. However, what we're looking at here in the purple color is what has recently been found is the halo around the Andromeda galaxy. And this is uh, some material that has been found by looking at uh, ultraviolet light from uh, distant quasars and how that light travels through the region around Andromeda and allowing using that light to monitor and tell us what is present in that area. So even though we're looking at much more distant objects, we can use the light that travels from them to learn something about the intervening material between us and and the quasar. And in this case, looking at those behind the Andromeda galaxy tells us something about the distribution of material in a great halo around it. Now, how big is this halo? Well, the halo is measured to be able to extend over a million light years away from the Andromeda galaxy. Now, the Andromeda galaxy is about two and a half million light years away from us. That means it stretches about halfway to us. And that, assuming there is a similar halo around the Milky Way, the two halos may already be mingling together. So in a way, this collision that won't occur for several billion years, the very beginnings of it will be starting. Although there is a far less material there and it will not be the spectacular interaction that we see with other galaxies uh, yet, but over the next few billion years, that will occur and we will be able to see the two galaxies will be able will be colliding and will form a much larger galaxy. So something that we've been able to map out a little bit about Andromeda and learn something more about the nearest large galaxy to us. And it's also interesting to consider that just a hundred years ago, we didn't even know for sure that Andromeda was another galaxy. It would have been called a spiral nebula and not known whether it was part of our own galaxy or a separate galaxy of itself. And it wasn't until Edwin Hubble in the mid 1920s was able to measure uh, some stars within the Andromeda galaxy and actually determine conclusively that it was outside of our Milky Way and that all of these spiral nebulae that we saw were actually distant galaxies. And of course, now we know of many billions of galaxies out there in the universe. So that was our picture of the day for September the 3rd of 2020. It was titled A Halo for Andromeda. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.